HTTV Live. I'm Elliot Hartford. And I'm Jack Bomsma. And thank you for being with us today. So, Jack, how's your homecoming week? Oh, it's been pretty good. Uh, so, two, or Monday was rainy, so we couldn't paint the streets that day, but just had a normal day of school. It was fun, whatever else. Had a good day of practice. And Tuesday, we ended up painting the streets. Yeah. And then we went to downtown with the student council and painted the windows and stuff like that. Got to eat downtown. And then after that, uh, our camera crew went to Hitchcock and visited the little kids. So that Tuesday was pretty, pretty lax day. Yesterday we had FFA all day, so that was fun too. And then today it's just been a really good day. How yeah. about yours? Well, I had a lot of fun. You know, the dress-up days. I thought those were all good ideas. I especially love the tape day. I don't know uh, any of you guys saw, it, but there's pictures of me floating around out there somewhere, <laughs> and there. Horrifying for my eyes, anyway. <laughs> no. But yeah, th it, I had a lot of fun, you know. Uh, it's always good fun, especially on homecoming. Are you, are you looking forward to a uh, tough guy volleyball tonight? Ooh, tough guy volleyball tonight. That will be fun. If, so, yeah. If this airs before then, you guys should check, come out to two at 7 o'clock, watch us guys play volleyball. And, and the, the girls. The, girls, the girls, girls are playing football at 6 o'clock on the field, so that'll be fun too. But like, Full football. I mean, full football. Flag football, but like there's kickoff, kick return, punting, fun, all nine yards. Fun for the whole family. Yeah. And then, uh, so yeah, and then tomorrow we uh, have a home, our homecoming game parade, all that good stuff. And then I'm pretty sure the parade starts at 2. 2 or 1.30? One 1. one. And then we got the pep rally and all that good stuff. And just going to be a good day tomorrow. Yeah, it is. It's going to be fun. So I hope to see you there. Now I'm going to send it to Riley with the kids in the elementary. I'm Riley Flea with HGTV Live, and I'm here with Justin. What grade are you in? Fifth. Uh, what do you like to do at recess? Play football. What is your favorite subject? Art. And what are you learning in school right now? Lots of stuff. Like what? <laughs> science. Is that it? Weather. Weather and science. All right, thank you. I'm Riley Flea with HGTV Live, and I'm here with Harley. What grade are you in? First grade. What's your favorite thing to do at recess? Swing. What are you learning in school right now? Reading. And what is your favorite subject? Reading. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Riley, for those interviews. Um, yeah. Now we're go going to Zach for sports. Now I'm here at the sports recap. Uh, the Patriot football team had a tough loss against Falkton. The score was 24 to 28. Uh, for cross country this week, the, they traveled to Falkton. Also, also in the varsity girls, uh, we had Bethany Weeby at 20th place. Uh, junior high girls, Cambry Hookman at 11th place. Varsity boys, Josiah Weeby at 48th and junior high boys, Matthew Solomon at 30th. And on this last Tuesday, uh, the, girls, the girls volleyball team traveled to uh, Dolan to play Iroquois Dolan, and they won that in three sets. Thank you. I'm Zach Gilbert from HCTV Live. I'm interviewing Coach Solomon. Coach, how'd the game go last week? How do you think it went last week? I don't know, you tell me. <laughs> <laughs> no. The game went, you know, as well as, well, not as well as we could hope. Of course, we hope to win. We played well. We played tough. Uh, definitely showed that we can beat them, and uh, that's exciting to know that. So, All right. Any expectations coming this, into this homecoming? Well, we expect to win. Uh, we expect to play well and come out hard and fast, uh, like I'm hoping our team will do. And, uh, it, it, you know, Esteline is not... Um, having a great year, so it should not be a, a huge challenge for us at this point in time. All right. Uh, where's your next uh, game? Where's the game next week, the week after? It's uh, in, in Tulare, another home game, and we're pray, uh, playing Britain Hecla. All right. Thanks, Coach. Good luck. All right. Thanks, sir. I'm Zach Gilbert, HTTV Live. I'm here with Mr. Opp. Uh, Mr. Opp, you want to talk about your last game? Uh, last game we traveled over to Highmore uh, last Thursday. Um, it was a, another tough, tough loss for us. Um, we were steamrolling right along with uh, the first set, won that easily. 
Second set, we were up six or seven, lost Shandy to a, a sprained ankle for the rest of the match. Uh, so we kind of lost set two, lost set three, came back one set four, and then we dropped a five set loss again. So um, kind of a tough, tough loss for us on the road. All right. Uh, where's your next game? Um, tonight or Tuesday, um, we're traveling over to Dolan, take Iroquois Dolan on. Um, again, another another uh, decent matchup for us. Um, it'll be kind of a big one for us in the conference again. Um, girls are ready to go, I think, try to get back in the W. All right. Uh, I see you have the Pentagon coming up this week. Want to talk about that? Um, sure, yeah. We go down to the Sioux Falls Pentagon, kind of a highlight of our year, I guess. Um, last year we didn't get to go because of COVID, so uh, this year we're, we're back down there. Um, there's four different divisions. Um, we're in the purple division, if anybody's keeping track. Um, and so there's eight teams in each division, so they just play within our division. Um, we start at 9 o'clock in the morning with El Sester Hudson, and then after that, they'll bracket us out, and then we'll play three more matches. And just some of the teams off the top of my head, uh, Howard, Hanson, Bonholm, Millbank, Old Hammer, Mona, Rutland, us, El Sester. So um, there'll be some pretty good competition down there. There always is. Um, I think the girls will be ready to go, uh, providing we're awake by 9 o'clock in the morning since we probably will be leaving by 5, 15, 5.30. So. All right. Good luck, Coach. Thank you. Thank you, Zach, for keeping us updated on sports. Uh, actually, we have a game tomorrow night in Tulare for homecoming. It would be nice for everybody to show up to that one. And next week's game, we play uh, Britton Heckle in Tulare, too, so it would be nice for everybody to come out. Games always start at 7. Okay. Good time. Good yeah. time. Watch this play hard. Watch this play hard. Play for you guys. Anyway, uh, now I'm going to send it to Jacob with the weather. Hey, it's the weather, man. Uh, so it looks like we got some pretty good weather for homecoming week here. Uh, we got the seven-day forecast for Tulare. Uh, Friday is looking like it's going to be a high of 66 and a low of 43. So that should be a pretty cool night for that game. And then uh, Saturday is a high of 70, low of 47. Sunday is a high of 80, low of 51. Monday is a high of 80, low of 48. Tuesday is a high of 78, low of 51. Wednesday is a high of 77, low of 53. Thursday, we got a high of 80 and a low of 52. And then for Hitchcock, we have uh, for Friday, we got a high of 66, a low of 43. And then we have Saturday, a high of 70, low of 47. And then Sunday, we have High of 82, low of 59. Monday we have a uh, high of 79, low of 48. And then, uh, just cut that video. Just cut the video. For Hitchcock, this seven day forecast, we have Friday is a high of, se uh, high of 66, low of 43. Saturday is a high of 70, low of 47. Sunday is a high of 82, low of 59. Monday we got high of 79, low of 48. Tuesday it looks like high of 78, low of 51. And Wednesday high of 77, low of 53. And Thursday we got a high of 80, low of 52. Back to you. Thank you, the weatherman, for informing us on the weather. It's supposed to be a cold one. Uh, tomorrow for homecoming, so I'm yep. excited. Get bundled up for the game. It's going to be a good one. Yeah, it's going to be a fun one to play. You got uh, birthdays? Yeah, I have birthdays, you know, always, every week. Um, I like to say happy birthdays to Hadasha Waldner, Cooper Knoll, Madison Holfer, Daniel Whip, Johan Whip, uh, Macy Jens, and then J.C. Waldner, too. So happy birthday, guys. Happy birthday to you. Anyway, so now on the calendar, uh, so obviously we got football tomorrow night against, uh, I feel dumb, Estill Hendricks. Anyway, so that'll be a good game. And then Saturday, the girls travel to the Pentagon in Sioux Falls to play a couple volleyball matches. That'll be fun. Yep. Uh, I mean, make a trip if you can. But. Um, and then next week on Wednesday, the FFA will be going to Westington Springs for uh, state, not state, regions, land judging and range judging to see if we can make it to nationals. And uh, for Sat or Friday, we have a game against Brent Heckle and Tula starting at 7 o'clock. Yep, next week Friday. Yep. 
I'd just like to thank you for watching another episode of HGTV Live. Uh, we'll have another one on next week. I am Jeff, er, Ron Burgundy. And I am Brian Fantana. Stay classy, Hitchcock, too, there.